Hi guys, this is Skid Flash here, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 FES. In this part, we're going to be talking to Miss Toriyumi because Mr. Guy with the fucking helmet will refuses to talk to us before I'm assuming we talk to every single teacher imaginable. That's what I'm getting at. At least Miss Toriyumi has a, like a character portrait. She's important enough for that, I suppose. Although apparently in um, Persona 3 Portable, all the teachers do, which is cool. It, it, it helps them be just random, it helps them, like, you know, ascend from just random NPCs, which they actually totally are, no matter what you do, to actual features, I guess. And we're going to be feeding the cat, because, again, I never freaking do this, and I really got to start doing that, because it's been way too long. This cat, this cat would probably be starved to death. No, he'd probably find some food. What do cats eat in, like, the nature? Well, that's obviously not nature, but, like, not domestically. They eat, like, rodents, I'm sure. Like, cats, I mean, <laughs> other cats, it's a, it's a fucking digital devil saga world for the kitties there. Oh, oh, no, that's just something I've always wondered, like, what do non-domestic pets eat? I mean, I'm sure they find, like, rats and stuff, but, you know, still. And how you came, oh, now you can't stop thinking about it, and it's all in your mind, and now you love us, right? That's how it always works. Of course. <laughs> what else, what else, like, you know, plausible event could, like, occur from this besides Ikari falling for us. It's impossible for the girl. it's literally impossible for the girls not to fall, with, fall for us in this game. You can't not date them. Anytime. Because we're fucking slick Minato Arisato. Uh, okay, so we're much closer now. That's rank, what, six? Seven? We have spent a lot of time with her because of, you know, all the... Oh wait, no, we haven't even. This is probably six. And then the date will give us enough points to do seven, right? Right, because it's still Saturday. We haven't even done the date yet. <laughs> We've accepted it, but we haven't done it. I, I don't know, I feel like I shouldn't have. Like, honestly, like, literally the only social link we have to even do anymore is Yukari and the star guy, which is the star guy, we can do the star guy, Mamoru, when we're doing, when people, like, are busy studying for tests. So we can, like, pretty much devote almost the entire week to Yukari. Welcome back. Or, if, if not even that, because there's one, a few more social links we have yet to start, we could, we could just do it, like, every single Monday, we could do Yukari, like, instead of dates. And it honestly wouldn't be time, like, on time efficient, because, you know, there's nothing else we could do on Mondays. We could also do shrine things. We don't necessarily have to do dates with Yukari, but I think I will anyways. Um, I think I have enough Sundays to spare. And oh, this pissed the shit out of me. <laughs> this in my this entire playthrough, I was trying to like you know, just like use the Koromaru walks to my advantage, and like oh maybe if I could meet you here on a Koromaru walk, I'd totally like you know get some free points out of it. And I and as soon as I maxed the social, like oh look who shows up, it's friggin' Chihiro. I could have waited a week and this would have been fantastic, but it didn't. <laughs> And I'm so disappointed. I had you. You might have noticed that the screen was stopped on that phase for a while because I knew I'd be, I knew even in post commentary that I'd be <laughs> ranting about that. I'm just more sad than anything else. That's such a kick in the face. Like seriously, the day after we max her out too. <laughs> uh, but whatever. Not necessarily the day after, or maybe it was. I don't even remember when we maxed her out. But who cares? Because now we're going on a date with Yukari. Have we done this before? I, I, I can't remember. I know I edited this apart, like, in full, but I don't know if I... Oh, God, I just broke this toy I was playing with while I was recording, because I I, my, I had to, you know, do something. I can't be just talking. <laughs> That's the one thing about live commentary. I mean, post-commentary. When I'm not holding a controller, I just had to, like, play with chords and stuff. Um, well, that's, it's, this is this, this is in Persona 2, and besides, we are dating. It's not a rumor. It's fact. Factual information here. Um, what are you doing this weekend? What are you, it it is the weekend. I'm hanging out with you. <laughs> what do you there's tomorrow is school. We don't get school off for Saturday. Um I'm hanging out with friends. I literally had to restart because I don't remember and staying in my room apparently make us look nerdy. Totally agreeable, but apparently Yukari cares about us enough to like, you know, make sure that we have a flourishing social social life. <laughs> Not like it's necessary to tell us that, but you know, whatever. And I'm gonna give her a gift. I'm gonna say it's not even necessary, but you know, I might as well. I bought the bouquet, and the, she actually likes the rose bouquet. Um, Yukari's kind of 
spoiled in the fact that the, di the gift she really likes is only like brand stuff, all the stuff you can buy on Tanaka. You know, the expensive brand purse, perfume, brand bags, what and whatnot. Usually for other characters, you can like skimp out on it by like having something like how hey, Chihiro how really game? loved the book cover. So, you know, that's much more cheap and much more easy to obtain than the other ones. But Yukari, you gotta make sure you give it your all. Um, Yuko was like that too, I think. I don't remember. I didn't really need to do anything with Yuko. I just remember that Yuko didn't like perfume. <laughs> because, I don't know, maybe it's like an insult saying that she smells bad or something. Anywho, here's the bro table. Where all the dudes are hanging out. Um, what? What's wrong with Akihiko? I mean, I don't... Ah. He's worried about Mitsuru. How touching. This is good. It's moments like this that make you sad that you literally have to, like, you know, <laughs> date every single girl you have a social link with, and that includes Mitsuru, obviously. But, you know, it, it's, it's, it's inevitable. It has to happen. I mean, I want that ultimate persona, and the ultimate ultimate persona. Have I ever mentioned that before? Or whatever rewards you get for maxing out on the social links, which I've honestly never done before, so who knows. Uh, but, so we hear our uh, plot development gossiping students. School trip is coming up soon. Alright, all that good jazz. I think I've talked about this before last part. School trips and whatnot. We're going to be doing that soon. By soon, I probably mean this part. Because we still have 11 minutes of stuff worth to do, and holy shit. <laughs> Lately, I feel like it's been taking, like, a long time to commentate over these things, even though they're not. Once I get started, it's not that bad. But it's just like, it's like, oh god, what am I going to talk about? I mean, I never talk about anything relevant in any of these parts. But usually it's always like, oh, okay, <laughs> this is going to be... There's going to be... I, 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 I just get the feeling that there's just going to be one breaking point where I absolutely just have nothing to say. And, like, I don't know, I'll, I'll cry or something. Um, but anywho, <laughs> I don't, I don't care. I'm going to be saying that for the rest of my life. Better get used to it. Because we got, um, because we did the date with her on yesterday, we can rank up with her again. Again, nothing else to do on Mondays, so might as well. Have I maxed out with Keisuke yet? I don't think I have. I think I was planning on doing that this week, which is soon. Or maybe I have already. I don't even remember. I, <laughs> I don't know what I've, like, done in gameplay recording and I've done in commentary re recording. And that's the only problem about, like, you know, recording super far in advance when it comes to gameplay recording, because I don't know what I've actually, like, Let's Play recorded-wise. I don't It's hard to explain. That's not a choice. <laughs> that's just, you know... I do that all the time at restaurants. I'll just get what he is getting because I'm too lazy to actually pick for myself. <laughs> oh, yes, I can relate. You know, Islander boy. But whatever. Go somewhere different, like the mountains. We could have lunch outdoors, man. See deer. Wasn't some other girl just totally raving about deers? I guess that's like really popular among the ladies of Nippon. But whatever. <laughs> they don't make us lunch. Are you sure? How good is Minato as a cook? That's never been established. Uh, we never had to. But don't invite anyone else. These theoretical plans are getting really intimate, Yukari. <laughs> are we ever going to even do this? But I don't feel so alone. How sweet. But it's nothing compared to you, Minato-kun. Right? Of course. Um, okay. I, that's getting really deep here. <laughs> that's the one thing, is, as sweet as this is, you always have to take into consideration that he has, she has some, you know, pretty deep-rooted family issues that, uh, also need to be aggressed. Uh, aggressed? Not, no. It's probably the last thing you want to be doing. It always has to be addressed accordingly, so don't be inconsiderate like that. Or whatever. It's not like whatever. <laughs> it's not like there's ever like a moment like you know, where considering saying the inconsiderate option is the right thing to do unless it's freaking Kaz. But other than that, <laughs> whoever says like, well, fuck you, man. Like, <laughs> well, I don't know, even know the point of putting those dialogue okay? options. Um, it's just inefficient, I guess. If you really want to see what they'll say, because you get some kick out of like you know, seeing fictional characters be pissed at you, but whatever, I don't judge, whatever you want, um, don't go throw any parties, got it, of course fucking Ken's gonna be throwing a party, he's the, he's the man, oh, please don't worry about bringing me back a souvenir, <laughs> I'll make sure, is that reverse psychosis or something, hilarious, 
Ken. You, I, I like you, Ken. You're the man. You got a lot of great tasting sacks. Um, I should have actually talked to Ken. Because I think if you actually talk to him here, he'll, like, specifically tell you what he wants for the Kyoto trip. I don't think you actually get anything good out of it, but, you know, it's always nice. I want to please Ken. Like, <laughs> could have worded that better. Um, he, he's a cool buddy. You gotta, you gotta treat him right, like the little bro. He's <laughs> exactly what he is. But, okay, yeah, I think I've maxed out fortune. No, no, I probably do that when I get back from the trip. That's what I'm thinking of. I hope it will be a memorable experience. Of course, that's just how the youth is. It's, of course it's gonna be a memorable experience. So memorable that there's a, there's an anime cutscene just for it. And I swear, this train station looks exactly like the train station from, uh, um, from this one scene in Persona 4. But now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure that train, this legitimately yeah, is the exact same more. train station. You don't like because it? there's part of Personally, Persona 4 where they go to Port Island, so this world. is, yeah, it's most likely the exact same train station. I mean, I guess it would be easy to find me here in a large crowd. <laughs> She's the only one not wearing a uniform besides Yukari. Don't know why they... Oh, I guess Kaz, too. Don't know why they get some special exception. But that always, that's always a question. In, like, every Persona. <laughs> and by that, here. I mean 3 and 4. Whoa, Don't want to nice do that. Place. I haven't played two and 1 and 2. Which I, I really have been it meaning to do that. Um, but more to the actual events going on. Hey, what's that umbrella for? <laughs> umbrella stuff. For decor, man. Exactly. Maybe the roof leaks. I almost want to know what happens when I, I say see. that. So that's the style here in Kyoto, huh? But yes, Ryoji. So, which way to the gate? <laughs> he's awesome. Uh, glad we're, he's gonna make this trip. I can already tell. That's right. I forgot about Him and Junpei that. gonna Count be jokers. What a bunch of jokers. Um, Keep dreaming, Junpei. But whatever. It's gotta add fun here somehow, right? I mean, I'm sure there's lots, lots of fun to this trip. There's a, there's a, there's a hot spring. Right there. The stone area <laughs> you obviously know where this is headed if you've watched any the anime the ever. Hot springs <laughs> yeah. You know this is going to lead to some lewd shenanigans. But whatever. No, it's just a courtyard. It's not oh, meant what? for bathing. Then what's the, okay. Then what's the fun there so for? So where were you guys going to go at your old school, Ryoji? Yeah. Somewhere what is your old school even, Ryoji? Kyoto's so typical, don't you think? I, I guess. Is that what they always go? What about the people from I Kyoto? I don't really remember. Isn't Kyoto where the Nintendo headquarters are stationed? That's the highlight Random of the fun year. fact. And Ryoji doesn't remember about no, the highlight of the year. Later. Maybe it's just not the highlight of the year. Way. Honestly, on a Girl, Persona's you perspective, you can't do any social links this untapped. entire week. Do you realize how annoyed that makes me? I mean, I'm sure it's, you know, you gotta... You heard her. ...revel in the funness Let's that is, like, the story again. events of this game. But still. I don't know what Junpei was even hoping to accomplish by just following them, like, right up next to them like that. But whatever. I guess it is a program, though. Ha! <laughs> I don't know where I was headed with that. Besides, she's a robot. Had to make some joke there. But, okay, so, the other than that, there's, it's kind of, it can be rather uneventful, I suppose, uh, the school field trip. It's fun. You can talk to, basically, um, well, obviously no social links. I'm not sure if there's not supposed to be any volume, or if I'm just dropping the ball, or if it's really, really silent like it actually is, because I turned it up and you can barely even hear it. What room are we in, Miss Toriyumi? Um, <laughs> up the stairs to the right. It's exactly the same as our dorm. How hilarious. Um, but yes, let's buy some souvenirs. If we could actually navigate this store without running into walls like a dumbass. Six Hara, I'm sure that's a joke about something. Um, so you didn't see it because I cut it, but I bought every single item on that inventory in hopes to give to Ken. Really, he only wants one thing and usually it's one specific thing, but I might as well just give it, buy everything, right? Rich as hell. And he's trying to sneak. <laughs> Gotta love Kenji. That's the one thing I do like about these, uh... The, the school trip, though, is that you do get to talk to, like, you know, the social links outside of the actual social links. Like, Kenji and Kaz, it's pretty estab well established that they're pretty good buddies on their own, which is nice. It's cool. It's good to know. You know. <laughs> I thought I'd get a different co um, conversation on Kaz's end, but they're both part of the same conversation, so I don't know what I was thinking. 
Uh, woman's only session in progress. Well, that would be the greatest time for me not to, to hop in, wouldn't it? I guess not. Well, whatever. So what's kind of funny is that the boys' room are up the stairs, too, so I don't understand why they got that mad at Junpei. Like, they could have easily just, like, you know... He could have he could have been going to his own room, his own room for that matter. So, anywho's, um, just like the, uh, just like the, uh, what am I even trying to say here? Just like the snacks, you also want to buy every single item from the vending machine. And this one's actually a bit more important. It's for a quest that we need to do. And actually, um, if you miss out on this, you legitimately can't finish the quest. So make sure you buy all those soda items. And here's Hidetoshi and uh, Keisuke. I can see that happening. I can see them being friends. I'm not sure if Hidetoshi is an upperclassman. I don't think he is. But I can totally see them being friends. They're like... They're both... They're they're similar. I can't in any way, shape, or form say how they're similar, but you can just feel the connection. Just like Ken and Kaz, like they're both like energetic while these guys are more reserved, I suppose. I, I don't know the correct way of describing them, but you just know that I could totally picture that being a friendship. Um so but again, uh they'll be saying the same thing and then every day they'll say something else. So you know, that's basically what you can check out check up on. She looks like a person with no soul. Well, that's sad. But, and there's Yuko, again. The only thing shitty about these, uh, you know, non-social link of thing events is that they don't, like, you know, actually recognize that we totally banged Yuko. Couldn't say anything about that. Because <laughs> for all we know, maybe some player hasn't. So they, she has to talk about the vending machines. Totally different from the selection back home. Exactly, key words. Make sure you buy them all. I was sorry, I thought there was a different thing in this one, but it's all the same stuff that I've already bought. So it's fine. And, uh, surprise, surprise, you can't go in the girls' room. And that's actually all the social links they are, uh, which kind of surprised me. I guess it makes sense. I mean, you couldn't find Chihiro because Chihiro's, you know, uh, underclassmen, and it's only juniors and seniors that go. I guess you could find Nozomi. Maybe not. It's kind of funny that, um, well, not really funny, that because we actually max, I guess this is actually a thing, because we max Bebe's social link, he's actually not here. Normally he is here, like, totally weaving out, because Kyoto is so awesome. Ja. Um, but yes, because we finished out his social link, he's, you know, back in France. And that definitely wasn't a French accent, and I definitely didn't end this right. But anywho, in the next part, more Kyoto social link. No, more Kyoto thing. But this part has dragged long enough. This is good Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye!